Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. The S&P 500 was down 0.93% today, uh, kicked off by quite a few things. You know, we got this strike in the ports that's going to possibly cause some economic problems. But the real issue uh, was the fact that Iran was retaliating, uh, sending missiles into uh, Israel. Uh, and so, you know, the market gets a little nervous, oil prices come up uh, and oil prices, of course, you know, coming up are inflationary. We're in an inflationary environment. So that becomes you know, an important component also. I think really it's just more, you know, waiting and see what's going to happen over the next 24 hours or so, uh, see what type of escalation we have. Uh, almost every single time we have some type of a conflict, uh, even you know uh, this one has been ongoing really, but you know an increase in that conflict, uh, the market responds negatively to that. Uh, almost every single time, also it then recovers and kind of comes back. Um, you know it has to have some type of negative economic impact, which of course rising oil prices would. Uh, it's just not super clear, you know, how much uh, problem we would have with oil prices. Uh, Iran is a producer, obviously, uh, but we had Russia, which had 11% of the oil, you know, production prior to them uh, coming into Ukraine. That gets cut off, you know, fairly dramatically, uh, and prices did jump to $130 a barrel, but then they came back down into the 70s. So, you know, we'll have to let this play out. A lot of times, these types of conflicts uh, aren't, you know, the thing that really drives the market uh, downward as far as that goes. I'd actually say the strike has uh, more impact potentially, again, depending on what happens with oil. Uh, but the strike has, you know, so according to JP Morgan, it's about a four and a half billion dollar a day hit uh, to the economy uh, with these ports not being open. So hopefully they can resolve that quickly as far as that goes. So, you know, on the, on the reports that happened outside of this, that kind of got buried in this news, uh, you know, uh, job openings actually went up uh, the highest they've been, you know, in the last three months. And so, again, that's just showing, I think, some recovering strength coming into the job market. You know, last week we had a fairly low uh, first time unemployment claims uh, and those types of things that are happening also. So, uh, you know, there's some pieces that are going along. Uh, obviously, today we're having, you know, some issues. I have noticed one thing interesting here. We've had some run ups at the end of each month in the last, you know, couple of months. And then the market falls at the beginning of the month to finally recover, you know, uh, in the second half of the month. So, you know, it's an interesting pattern. We'll see how that goes. You know, October coming into an election, again, people are going to probably hold back. You know, there's some strategies that you might want to do depending on, you know, who wins the White House and what Congress is made of. Is it all one party or is it bifurcated? Uh, and so sometimes money, you know, doesn't come in as much. And then it kind of comes in after once once the situation is known. Uh, historically, November after presidential election has been quite good. Uh, it's quite good normally anyway, uh, even without a presidential election, but it's even better uh, during presidential election year. So, uh, you know, we'll have to hang in there for some volatility here, I think, through October. Uh, obviously, you know, the situation uh, in Israel and what have you in the Middle East is going to be, you know, forefront to something we're talking about as this continues to, to go. So uh, anyway, look forward to being able to see what's going to happen tomorrow. I think it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, how this plays out. So look forward to talking to you then. Thank you.